can we be better prepared in the future if another virus like COVID-19 comes to light? How can we make sure that our grocery stores stay stocked and our food supply is protected? These are questions that many people have been asking in the last few months. And the answer in some ways could be found right in Manhattan at this facility, MBAF. I sat down with the man leading the way and getting the project up and running, along with the facility's first employee to give you an exclusive look of what's going to happen on the other side of the gate. No matter how you slice it, looking from the east, the west, the front or the back, there's one thing that everyone knows about MBAF. It is big and it is secure. MBAF is a state of the art facility. It's literally the best facility I constructed to protect agriculture against anything. But what does that really mean? Well, first things first, MBAF stands for the National Bio and Agro Defense Facility. It's a $1.25 billion facility being built by the U.S. Department of Homeland Security that will replace the Plum Island Animal Disease Center currently located in New York. They'll have to transport everything from that 24 hour, 365 day operation facility in the Big Apple and bring it to the little one. Kansas won the job in 2009 to become the new home for the U.S. Department of Agriculture's research building, sitting right in our backyard next to Kansas State University, which is really convenient to accomplish one of MBAF's goals. Developing the expertise, uh, creating the next generations of scientists that will address those challenges of tomorrow. Challenges like COVID-19, being prepared or preventing them in the first place. The facility will be studying pathogens, protecting the U.S. against transboundary, emerging and zoonotic animal diseases, meaning diseases that can cross borders. So they aren't in the U.S. just yet, but they could get here. The other type of diseases are ones that we don't know a lot about. They could be new or only a little bit of information is known about them. And then studying diseases that can be transferred from animals to humans. The signs that will happen at Mbav will help us to develop those tools that will predict in time what will be the next pandemia, what will be the next virus. Be prepared to respond in the best way possible and, and to develop some of the countermeasures against those things. So where COVID-19 is at right now wouldn't be studied at NBAF. Diseases that could become a pandemic like we're in right now before they happen, starting in an animal will. Not only will NBAF be protecting our public health, but also our food supply and agricultural economy. We've had porcine epidemic diarrhea virus, uh, which affected the swine industry. We had uh, high path avian influenza affecting the poultry industry. Even with those diseases, the grocery store shelves were always still stocked. The prices went up partly because of the diseases. There was even a worry if there'd be enough turkeys for your Thanksgiving table. We've never seen empty grocery shelves, and there are diseases out there that are capable of if they were introduced into the United States that could have that devastating effect. Because those diseases could affect livestock, which could affect everyone because agriculture makes up 22% of the country's gross domestic product, something NBAF is dedicated to protecting, also dedicated to Manhattan. We are a part of the community. We're bringing new people into the community to work here, so we want to make sure that we're present. Returning the favor as the community, state, and country have poured into this billion-dollar project. The money comes from federal dollars, $938 million. State dollars ringing in at $307 million and support from the city of Manhattan with $5 million. All of that money is invested into making sure that everything is done safety and safely and at the best level possible to support the laboratory work. So keeping things secure is not necessarily to only keep people out, but more so to keep deadly and disastrous materials from getting out. Protects the livestock industry protects our food supply and then public health because many of these diseases can be spread from animals to humans. So it does make you wonder, what if MBAF would have been open before the COVID-19 pandemic even started? Would life still look the same? That's the power that's held right in our backyard in Manhattan, Kansas. And so the facility was set to wrap up construction completely at the end of this year in December. But with the pandemic, there are some delays, so that December milestone isn't going to happen. But they are still on budget and expect it to stay that way. Now, MBAF wants to share what's happening there. So if you want leaders to come to your business, school or event to talk about what's going on, you can do that. You can request them to do that. Of course, those visits might look a little bit different since everything's going virtual, but it can still happen. I posted who you need to contact to schedule something like that on our website. Just go to ksnt.com and click on this story.